Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install SAS on Mac. So in order to install SAS, we're going to need to use two additional programs. The first is called Ruby. And Ruby is actually a programming language, and it's the language that SAS was written in. And therefore, we need Ruby on our computer to be able to run and use SAS. We're also going to need another program called Ruby Gems. And Ruby Gems is basically a package manager for Ruby. So it allows you to install, update, and manage uh, different Ruby programs, which SAS is. So we're going to use this Ruby Gems program to install SAS on our computer. Now, lucky for you Mac users, Mac comes pre-built and you know it automatically has Ruby and Ruby Gems installed on it. So first thing we're going to do is just make sure that both those things are on there. Um, I'm going to come up here to the search bar. I'm just going to type in terminal and we're gonna open up a terminal window. And the terminal is basically just an application that we can use to give the computer different commands. So inside of this terminal, I just wanna make sure that we have um, Ruby and gems installed just in case. So I'm gonna type Ruby hyphen V and that should spit out the current version of Ruby that we're running. And then I just wanna type gem hyphen V and that should do the same thing. So we, should, so we should get a version number. As long as you have both of those, then it's actually really simple to install SAS. We just have to type sudo gem install SAS. And you wanna make sure that you include this sudo right here. Um, and I'm just gonna click enter and that should ask for our password. And this will basically just go off and get everything that we need to use SAS on our computer. When that's done installing, um, let's just validate and make sure that everything got installed correctly. So. I'm just gonna type SAS hyphen V, and this should spit out the version of SAS that we just downloaded. <clears throat> so in my case, it's 3.5. And as long as you have a version number for SAS and this command isn't throwing any errors, then you're ready to go and start building some awesome CSS pages. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.